All right, all right. Shalom, Shalom family. Ah, you know, y'all keep back at it again. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, my Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, Barak and Fah. Hallelujah. Praise. Yah. All praises to the Most High and His only begotten Son. Uh, to the immediate right of me, you already know I got my big bro, my elder. My real Al and Israel. <laughs> So uh, we're going to bring a lesson uh, forth today called Sexual Manipulation, Lust Corrupt the Mind. Sexual Manipulation, Lust Corrupt the Mind. Mm. Uh, and basically, we want to bring out things, you know, to show how that lustful eye and how the intentions of your heart is really, really, really what's going to be having us in the lake of fire if we don't correct it because we not going about laws correctly. We we getting into Phariseeism, meaning being technical. You know, a lot of Hebrews get studied up in this word and uh want to manipulate women off of technicality. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. That's what we're gonna bring forth: sexual manipulation, lust corrupt the mind. And uh, just a little something though. Every lesson I bring forth, uh, I have I have either experienced myself or somebody close to me or i have heard about something so these ain't lessons i'm just pulling out of thin air so this is a a very very major problem amongst israel negroes can't control they lower member mm. so i think that we need to talk about it you know everybody else want to talk about the stuff you know that's popular and this and that but i like to talk about the conscious the deep dark sins and secrets the things you do on the other side of midnight Cause that's what we really battling in. That's the true battle. So uh, let's get to it. I ain't finna hold y'all up too long, but we do got a lot of scriptures to go through. So bear with us here and uh, get some understanding. Before we start this lesson, I gotta say, like I always say, uh, we open to constructive criticism. So if y'all got anything to say at all, or y'all just got anything to add on to, or anything that y'all don't agree with, if you have scripture, go and hit up the comment board. It's never closed. We don't do that. So, sexual manipulation, lust corrupt the mind. We're going to start it off in Jeremiah 17. We're going to talk about that heart and the intentions of that heart. Mm. You know, because you got a lot of people who are like, well, it's nowhere in the Bible where a single woman and a single man laying down with each other is a sin. You know, I haven't seen nobody in the Bible that goes to the lake of fire or have got judged because of that. And you know, you read the scripture, you be like, you know what, technically, you right. But what was your intentions though? See, we up under something called the priesthood order of Melchizedek, where the law have became spiritual, where God judge you for your intentions, the involuntary brain, the involuntary conscience, the real you, the things that you think about that you don't wanna let nobody else know about. Mm. Huh? Them secret, lustful, evil intentions. That the most high gonna judge. We not up under Aaron no more, the fleshly law. Where you can get off by a technicality. Where you gotta have two or three witnesses. Huh? Your mind, your conscience bear witness of your sins now. Your conscience bear witness of them guilty thoughts you be thinking about. So let's talk about it because if you read throughout all scripture, one of the main problems amongst Israel and this is coming from a black man, you know, we all fall from the same thing, is the vagina. So, you know, before we even get this lesson started, you know, viewer discretion is advised. Because we finna really talk about some things here. I'm not gonna have no nasty mouth or nothing, but I'm gonna say penis and I'm gonna say vagina because that's what this lesson is about. And that's what we can't control on one another. Men can't control their penis and women can't control their emotions which make them can't control their vagina. Mm. So let's talk about it. Jeremiah 17, 9. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. Come on, hey, bro. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You hear that? So he said, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Mm. Who can know it? If you look up this word heart, it means your mind, your mind. This, this organ in your chest can't be wicked. So it's talking about your mindset, your conscience. So if it says it's that wicked who should know it. So that mean when, that mean this brother, you know, God forbid, this brother can be sitting right here by me right now thinking God knows what, huh? Manipulation. 
but portraying to be something that he's really not. Same thing that a lot of men do with these women. Mm. Come at them like and offer them these things, saying that they're going to do this and do that, but it be a whole gender, a whole Jedi trick behind it. Huh? Because that heart is wicked. Desperately. Who should know it? The only person that know your heart is who? It's going to tell you. Verse 10. Huh? I, the most high, search the heart. You hear that? I, the most high, search the heart. I can't search nobody's heart. I can't read minds, but guess who can? Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Guess who can? Christ. Remember he read the minds of them and told them, don't, don't murmur, murmur amongst yourselves? That's the mind reader. That's the all-seeing eye. Huh? These women can't read you Negro's mind. Huh? And you can't read hers. So how can we separate that? How can we separate what we're doing by our works? That's why it says faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. But we not even trying works, even seeing works, because the whole time we getting into these relationships, we have an, a personal agenda. And that personal agenda is not to have a wife. That personal agenda is not longevity. We not thinking longevity. We're thinking one night stand. Mm. You know, let me try the vagina first. And then y'all women are so emotional, y'all just open up y'all legs thinking it's going to be something else. And you didn't try the man. Now, you became a harlot. And he just been the one that's just poking his thing and stuff and keeping it pushing, trying out vaginas. So now you got one more stain on your jacket in this truth when you didn't have to have it if you followed these guidelines that we finna go through right now. And this for man and woman. I'm not bashing men. I'm not bashing women. I'm trying to show y'all these secret things that don't nobody want to talk about. Why don't nobody want to talk about the penis and the vagina? We talk about everything else but that. Let's talk about it. Because obviously this is a problem amongst Israel. Mm. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 10 again. I, the most high, search the heart. Mm. I try the reins. You hear that? He tried the reins. Not only do he search the heart, he tried every nick and cranny of the consciousness. Mm -hmm. So anything you think you hiding in the back of your brain, he going to dig it up. He going to search it out. Huh? So you telling this woman you want her and you want to marry her, but it's all just to get in her drawers because she have a round butt and some plump breasts mm. and a slim waist and some pretty eyes. I she, you might have fooled her. You might eat hell. You might have fooled us. But you're not fooling the most high. That's who you're not fooling. Come on. Even to give every man according to his ways. You hear that? So he searched your mind, your intentions mm -hmm. to give you according to your ways. So everybody be like, well, you know, technically, technically, <laughs> we was married. But it's like, okay, y'all was married, but okay, what pertaining to this marriage? You know what I'm saying? Did you take care of her? Did you holler at her father? It's just a whole lot of, a whole lot of stuff that if you run it down, you be like, well, technically, you wasn't married. You know, we understand the fleshly part that y'all went into each other. And then, all of a sudden, two weeks later, I look up, you not even with her no more. You with somebody else, and she with somebody else. Mm. So it just sounds like a sex fest to me. Because marriage is longevity. It's forever. After all the stuff Adam and Eve went through, did he ever divorce her? No. Didn't Christ say in the beginning it wasn't so? Men didn't put away their wives? So what's going on now? It's a lust problem. Sexual manipulation. We out here being and perceiving something that we not just to get in a woman draws. And y'all perceiving something y'all not just to find a king. And that's the problem. You not supposed to be finding a king. A king supposed to be finding you. That's right. So what is the byproduct of this? Meaningless, hot, loin warfare. Mm -hmm. Sex. And that leads to sin. Not saying that a single man and a single woman land with each other is a sin. Technically, I can't find it. Technically. But is that wrong? Yes, it is. And does it lead to things? Do it lead to corruption? Do it lead to sin? Do it lead to lust that corrupts the mind? Yes, it does. So we need to put that in check right now. And I'm not only speaking for y'all. I'm speaking to everybody, including myself. I, I put myself out there, too. You know what I'm saying? Check. I need to check myself. I, I see a beautiful woman. I don't need to be like, oh, my God. And, and lusting with my tongue hanging out my mouth. Mm. I need to check that. Okay, she's beautiful. But, hey, she might have a man. Mm. Huh? 
while I'm looking at her behind? Why you looking at her behind? Or why you women searching and, and looking at, uh, what y'all call them? Penis prints? Mm. Is that what they doing? Man, that's what they doing, man. Ooh. It's like, it's like, when have we, how have we come seduced and, and by, by Satan to be so low to all we think about is sexual organs? That's it. That's all we think about now. Why is that, though? What is really going on? Have we been given over to the lust of the world? Huh? Mm -hmm. Is we that fleshly now? We spiritual beings being that fleshly. <laughs> Sexual manipulation. Everything is to feed our flesh nowadays. There's nothing to feed our spirit. That's right. A woman, look, the crazy thing is, a woman will show you her vagina bef way before she even show you her heart, her skills. You don't even know if she can cook, clean. You don't know nothing. All you know is you want vagina. Mm. So then you get the vagina and then you find out she don't cook, she don't clean, she don't know nothing. Now you stuck with luggage and baggage and you know, you being the Negro you is, you put her out and leave and move on to something else. Now she's a harlot all because you wanted to fulfill some lust and all because she wanted to look for a king. When you're not supposed to be searching for no king, he supposed to find you. And when you're not supposed to be looking to lust after her, you supposed to be looking to have a fulfillment, a soulmate. And the only way you know if you got a soulmate if you try and test. And sex is not involved in this. Come on. Verse 10 again from the top. I, the most high, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways mm -hmm. and according to the fruit of his doings. Mm, we can stop that right there. Let's go. First Corinthians 4. We got a, we got a few scriptures, so I'm going I'm to I'm speed it up. You know, I'll get to talking. Mm. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians 4. You know me, I get to talking, boy. Handle your business, man. That's what it's about. Yeah, we just got we got to fix this problem. Everybody. And see, what it is is, is men fall in love with what they see. Yeah, exactly. Women elder. fall in love with what they hear. Exact, exactly, exactly, elder. You got that smooth talker. Mm -hmm. Tell you everything you think you want to know. Yeah, sick, slick Willie with his tongue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He see a, a round butt. You know, the daughters of Di Zion is the most beautiful daughters on planet Earth. He see a round butt. He sees some uh, some voluptuous breasts, mm -hmm. and he sees some beautiful eyes and a beautiful face, and he can't resist. He got to know what it feel like. You just got to be inside him. You know what I'm saying? I understand. Look, I was young before. I used to be just like that. A dog with the pink thing hanging out, just walking around trying to hump. I, mm. I get it. But I'm saying, as we coming into the knowledge that we coming into now, we have to, it's a point, and it's a, it's a, it's a point and a check yourself line where we have to sit down and, and really reevaluate what we doing here. You know what I'm saying? Because we not supposed to be making harlots out of the daughters of Zion. That's right. And look, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? You just ain't supposed to be sticking your thing in everything that look good. My grandma used to always tell me, Sugar, everything that glitter ain't gold. That's right. And now I finally really understand what she's saying. You be sticking your penis into a graveyard. Your covenant. Your covenant. <laughs> mm. Man. All right, we in uh, 1 Corinthians 4. We're going to do 1 through 5, Hebrew. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ. That's right. And stewards of the mysteries of Yah. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Ooh, you hear that? You want to be a steward of the Lord, a servant of the Lord? You have to be found faithful. Faithful. Faithful that works is dead. Faith start with what? Belief. Belief. That's a mind thing. Come on. Verse 3. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you. Or of man's judgment. Yeah, I judge not mine own self. You hear that? Come on. For I know nothing by myself. You know, he know nothing by himself. So we need to quit leaning to our own understanding. We need to quit leaning to our own fleshly lust. Because that's, that's all attached to this skin anyway. Is lustful thinking, carnal mind. Mm -hmm. You just want to feed and, and fulfill your lust. What about the spirit? Ain't this supposed to be for eternity? Ain't we supposed to be reigning with Elohim forever? So if we supposed to be doing that forever, why are we steady fulfilling and fiending and lusting after stuff that's going to wither away and die? 
corruptible things. This might not even not, look, law forbid, I might not even be here tomorrow. This gonna have to go on the ground. But all my life I've been chasing this to fulfill this. What's up with the spirit? What's up with the soul? What's up with the consciousness? We need to be checking on that. Come on, you bro. Verse four again. For I know nothing by myself, mm -hmm. yet am I not hereby justified. Ooh. But he that judgeth me is the master. So who judged the mind and the conscience? Lord, the mm -hmm. master. Come on. Therefore, judge nothing before the time mm. until the most high come. Right. Who both will bring the light who who both will bring to light the hidden things. Who, who, hold on. Who both will bring to light the what? The hidden things. The hidden things. Them hidden things that you've been keeping in your conscience. Them hidden intentions. Them dark countenance that you've been out here doing. Huh? What you doing behind midnight. These secret lusts. Fulfilling your flesh. All of these things gonna come to light, man. All of them. Come on. Who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness mm -hmm. and will make manifest the counsels of the heart. The who? The counsels of the heart. The counsels of the heart. These matters that you went back and forth in your mind in, and you know what? You say, you know what? F it. Mm. I'm going to do it anyway. It looked too good. I can't pass that up. Mm -hmm. I can't. All of that? Round butt, plump breast? Mm. I'm not going to pass that up. Even though I know my intentions wrong, I know I don't want to marry you. I sure don't want no baby up out of this. But, but, but both of these things are going to happen if you out just having loin warfare. Putting your covenant, your penis into vaginas all because it look good. See, but the Most High is going to count. Look, he's going to judge the counsels of the heart, the counsels of the mind. He going he gonna to get deep inside of the mentals, and he going to search the reins of that consciousness. Mm -hmm. And you bet not get found off. You bet not get found off. Come on, Hebrew. And then shall every man have praise of Yah. You hear that? Every man praise because it's going to be a just judgment. You know if you off or not. You know if you're doing what you ain't supposed to be doing. We all understand that. Come on, let's get it. Let's uh, read Proverbs. Proverbs 16, Hebrew. Proverbs 16. We're going to flow through them. We ain't trying to keep y'all up all night. Proverbs 16. 16 and what you want to start uh, at? We're going to start at verse 1. Okay. Sexual manipulation. Lust corrupt the mind, y'all. Lust of the flesh corrupt the mind, should I say. Lust of the flesh corrupt the mind. Let's get it, Hebrew. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 1. The preparations of the heart in man mm. and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. Come on. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. You hear that? All the ways of a man clean in his own eyes. Right. You justify all you do in your own eyes. Oh, no. You can tell me what you want to tell me. Look, man, I really wanted to marry her, but she started tripping. She started tripping. No, maybe you put your penis in her too fast. Maybe she been tripping, but you ain't even searched her heart to see if that was going on. You ain't even sit down and talk. You just want hot sex and lust. Mm -hmm. huh? So maybe she been off. Huh? I mean, like, how do y'all think this happened? Like, you know, it's like, man, out of nowhere, man, she just turned wicked. Maybe she been wicked. Or maybe she caught hold of what she was doing and then turned how she turned. Like, half the time it ain't just her fault. Maybe it's your fault, too. Maybe... Your intentions. Maybe you was doing some sexual manipulation, making it seem like you want her, cause she in the truth and you uh, she's understand that sex is marriage. And look, her mama been telling her since she was a youngin, huh? Don't be having meaningless sex. He better marry you, mm. huh? He better marry you. And you, you and your deep conscious mind understand it already before you even gotten the truth, cause you learned this being a gentile minded Israelite. Mm. So you like, man, in order for me to get that, because she ain't no hoe, she ain't all for real. In order for me to hit that, I'm going to have to pretend, I'm going to have to manipulate her right. to get sex. I'm going to make, I'm gonna have to make her think that I want her. I want to marry her. I want to be with her forever. Make all these plans. They call it running game, though. Running game, spitting that lick. Mm. Huh? We all have been guilty of that. All young men. I've been guilty of that in my young age, my younger days. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Ooh. 
but the most high way at the spirit. But the most high way at the what? The spirit. Look, all the ways clean in your own eyes until judgment. The, the most high gonna search that mind. He gonna weigh them spirits. He gonna be like, look, I seen your works, B. But mm -hmm. that mind was corrupted with lust. Lust mm -hmm. of the flesh. Huh? And look, the crazy thing about a nigga. The crazy thing about a nigga, not a nigga, a nigga, he will straight play for years just to hit. He right. will play for years. He'll play house for years just to hit. Like, what are you doing? Play house for years just to hit. Then soon as he fulfilled that lust and he ejaculate and that semen is gone, that semen gone, guess what I'll leave with it? The lust. So he don't have nothing to do with you no more. Unless, unless... You did, it's good to him, it felt good or something, and then he'll keep playing more. But the thing about lust, lust changes. Lust always changes. And it makes you want more and more. Lust bring upon greed. Mm -hmm. So once he start hitting you, your vagina ain't gonna be enough. He gonna want more vagina, and more vagina, and more vagina. But all y'all gotta do is start really getting to know each other. See, that's, that is our problem amongst Israel. We, we, we rush into loin warfare. And then turns to find out that you don't like nothing about him. And he don't like nothing about you. Now what? Huh? Now what? Come on. Verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Most High, and thy thoughts shall be established. Notice it keeps talking about thoughts. It says commit thy works unto the Most High. You work in the spiritual realm for the Most High, and your thoughts will be established but if you working in this realm in the flesh your thoughts not established your thoughts are crumbling with lust and they will die with lust because lust of the flesh will not make it into the kingdom lust of the flesh is attached to the world and those that love the world cannot love God so why you chasing ass chasing tail and why you chasing a king and both of y'all having sexual manipulation Get, where is God in the mix of that? He's not in the midst of it. We just read it. The only way God can be in the midst of this if you commit thy works unto him. Mm -hmm. But if your works unto flesh, then, hey, it's of the devil. It's of that wicked one. Come on here, bro. Verse 4. The Most High hath made all things for himself. Whew, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he made all things for himself. Mm -hmm. So why is you treating his daughter like that? Why are you treating his son like that? Look, would you let a nigga just run up in your daughter? Honestly, how would you feel if a grown man do your daughter the same way you doing the daughters of Zion? Mm. How would you feel if another man was sexually manipulating your daughter? Don't really want to be with her, just want to hit. Just want to put tags and mouths on her stuff. Get all them emotional spirits and demonic spirits into her womb. Just to leave her. Dropping off baggage and dipping out. Huh? How would you feel if somebody did your daughter like that? Hmm. But you doing daughters of Zion like that. That's right. Huh? Like, really ask yourself that. Really ask yourself that. Come on, bro. The Most High hath made all things for himself. Mm. Yeah. Even the wicked for the day of evil. Ooh, even the wicked for the day of evil. Come mm -hmm. on. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Most High. You hear that? And don't be proud in heart about it. You know when you're going off. You know if you're doing wrong. Look, fix it. And I mean to be in, look, and most of the people that's proud in heart is, is just people that want to make up excuses to stay doing what they're doing anyway. Mm -hmm. Come on. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. You hear that? You not, look, them righteous, them unrighteous intentions in your mind. That darkness, it won't go unpunished, it's unpunished, it's going to come to light. You got to holler about it. You got to holler. So it's best if you turn back now and get it together. Come on. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. Hear that? By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. Come on. And by the fear of the Most High, men depart from evil. So is it that you Negroes don't fear the Most High? That you women don't fear the Most High? Is it that? Is that what's going on? Because if you don't fear, that means you don't believe. And if you don't believe, then you're really not in the truth. And you into manipulation as well. Come on. Verse 7. When a man's ways please the most high, 
he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Ooh, come on. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. Come on. A man's heart deviseth his way. What, what do that say? A man's heart deviseth his way. A man heart plans his ways. So if your heart on vagina all the time, guess what you be planning to do? Mm. I'm gonna be at the club, I'm gonna be at church. Hey man, oh yeah, some new she brews in the camp. Oh yeah, I'm coming to class this week. Oh man, you see all them females that pass over? Mm. Huh? Only time you around to even serve the Lord is to find you some vagina. Let's not say find a woman because that ain't what you looking for. That's right. Negro, you looking for vagina. Let's keep it on it. Like, why do we got to hold back our words? And why do we got to talk differently? Look, let's keep it real. Let's put it on the table. It is what it is. Let's talk about it. Ain't nobody talking about this. Let's talk about it. Isaiah Men, 58 and 1. You hear me cry loud or spare night? We niggas is up in the camp searching for vagina. Mm. Women is up in these camps looking for men and kings. You not supposed to be with her for her vagina and you not supposed to be looking for a king. A king is supposed to find you. It says when a man findeth a wife. It didn't say when a wife findeth a man. That's the problem. Ain't nobody playing their roles and doing what they supposed to do. So what do we have? The divorce rate is so low today. It's more, it's more people divorced today than it was people in slavery, bruh. How off is that? Nothing is longevity no more. The kingdom thought is not on us. The kingdom is eternal. We just want loin warfare, lusting after one another. Come on. Verse 9. A man's heart deviseth his ways, but the most high directeth his steps. You hear that? The most high direct your steps. So if your plans are wicked, then who directing them steps? If it ain't the most high, it gotta be Hashatan. It gotta be that wicked one. That old serpent, that devil, that dragon. Come on. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth transgresses not in judgment. Come on, these last two verses, we're gonna move on. A just weight and balance are the most high. You hear that? A just weight and balance. He's gonna weigh it. And if them intentions is all like this, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's gonna be trouble in the day of wrath. Because remember, the law is spiritual. Ain't no more technicality. We up under the order of Mikhail's deck. He is trying the reins. Get off the Phariseeism. It ain't no technicality. You can't manipulate the law no more. Because he's talking about the intentions. He's judging that mind, that mm -hmm. consciousness, that involuntary part of your brain. Let's quit playing around. Come on. All the weights of the bag are his work. Whew. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness. For the throne is established by righteousness. Mm. Come on. We're going to go to, uh, we done, yeah, we, yeah, we done with that. Let's go to Romans. We're going to go to Romans 1. Let's go to Romans 1. We're going to hit the job with a, we're going to get to some stories, but we're just going to, we're going to bounce around for a little minute. You feel me? Remember, sexual manipulation, lust corrupt the mind. Lust corrupt the hearts of man. Lust of the flesh corrupts the heart of man. Go to Romans 1. Let me check this camera real quick. Y'all okay. yeah, know we be on 30 minute segments, but I keep getting up. One. Yeah, we're gonna do one. Uh, Romans one start at 20, 21. Romans one and start at twenty one, brother. You ready? You that? I'm already here, brother. The Remember, sexual manipulation, lust, lust of the flesh corrupt the minds of men. The book of Romans, chapter one, verse twenty one. Because that. When they knew Yah, they glorified him not as Yah, neither were thankful, but became vain in their own imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. You hear that? And this is a wide sense. This is spiritual. You know God, but you become vain because you seek vain things, and then your mind become darkened. Now you're just committing wicked, dark things. Come on. Verse 22. 
professing themselves to be wise, they became fools mm. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible Yah into an image made like to corruptible man mm. and to birds mm. and four-footed beasts mm. and creeping things. Come on. Wherefore, Yah also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. Through the what? Through the lust of their own hearts. You're that same thing. He gave them up to idols. You want to be, you want vagina to be your God? Mm. You want to bow to vagina? He going to give you up to vagina. That's all you're going to be doing is thinking about vagina every day. Chasing vagina. Vagina on your mind. God is not on your mind. Then you don't get vagina. And what you doing? Masturbating off of vagina. Off another man's vagina. You see how this leads? This stuff leads to pornography. This stuff leads to adultery. This stuff leads to all because you can't contain your lust. Mm. I, if you if you that addicted for, to vagina, just get you a wife and stick with her. There you go. The bed is undefiled. Lay with her all you want. But you going around just selecting women that look good and, and look like it tastes good to your spiritual tongue. And you just want to eat everything you see. That is greedy. Too much of anything is bad for you. Especially if you're not even establishing nothing with these women. And then she's so vulnerable because she want a king. She's doing what she ain't supposed to be doing. She's searching for one. And guess who she ran into? A nigga like you. Mm, not that nigga. Man. Woo. You see what I'm saying? Hey, boy, it's rough out there. It's rough. So look, be a woman, stay in your lane. You quit being lustful and having sexual manipulation on your mind, going around manipulating women, and you do what you're supposed to be doing. And guess what? The balance is back. Everything is cool. But see, we upsetting the balance of the universe by doing this. Because remember, we are the universe. Everything inside the universe is created within us. And we are altering that very existence by committing the things that we're doing. What are we doing here? Everything is sex, 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 sex. Not saying, look, everybody, everybody enjoys sex. Not saying I don't enjoy it. Of course, it's sex. But when it's out of order like that, right? when it's out of order like that, when we manipulating people for it, when we lying to get it, huh? When we committing adultery to get it, when we actually making plant premeditated sexual manipulation, we premeditate this stuff. That's a problem. Everybody making babies. Everybody laying down with each other. But it ain't no longevity in it. These sisters selling themselves short, man. They, you know, they got to build up their spiritual self-worth. You know, yeah. because these brothers have to deserve you. Mm. You know, you know, I've been married, all praises to the most high, 25 years now. Okay. Same woman. Raised two beautiful daughters. You know, and... and I, you know, that's my queen. Right. You know, that's my help me. That's my partner in life. Right. You understand? But these brothers got to think more of the women and that they're worth more. And the women got to let the brothers know, hey, you got to deserve it. Yeah, me. straight you up. Know, straight look, look, look. If you got brothers in the Bible working damn near 20 years, damn near 20 years for vagina. Mm. I mean, I'm saying, why is you trying to hit her the, the, the same day you meet her? Huh? Y'all on the phone texting and first thing you bring up is sex. What is you do? What? You women need to start cutting that short. Cause you already know what it's about. First thing you, first thing he bring up is sex? Or can you come over and watch? I'm not coming over to watch nothing with you. Can, can, what, can you come study? No. Take me out. We can study outside. We can study at, on our date. Mm -hmm. Like start holding standards for yourself. Right. And you brothers quit sexually manipulating these women. Flat out. And notice he said, help me. He didn't say, he did not say no, 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 uh, no, you pay all the bills, me. Right. He did not say no sex meat. Huh? He said, hey, help me. Somebody that can aid you. You looking for somebody that you can just stick your covenant in. And that will never last. That's not longevity. Remember, kingdom. Kingdom is eternal. Eternal means forever and ever and ever. And if you can't be with her, but look, let's just keep it a hundred. The way we eating, well, I ain't gonna say the way we, cause I eat healthy. The way y'all be eating, <laughs> mm. the way y'all eating right now, and all the drinks we be consuming, all the stand up we be doing, everything we be doing. If you actually think about this logically, about time you hit sixty. 
your penis ain't even getting up no more. So sex is not even in the play. Unless you take Viagra, okay? That's gonna wear off. You gonna be 80 years old. What happens if y'all both live to see 80? Y'all not gonna be thinking about no sex? Wait, dog. Let me catch your dice. I'm 51. You know what I mean? That mean I'm nine years to the bad or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though. You I see what, what I'm you getting say. to. Yeah. Uh, what I'm saying is when, when, when you supposed to be an elderly <laughs> woman and an elderly man, eventually she's gonna go through menopause. And... Your covenant is not going to be able to get up no more. Then what? If it all was just built off of lust. Right. It's got to be more to it. It got to be more to it. It got to be more to it. Okay. Let's say she do got some good sex. But you come home every single day. Your house dirty. Mm. All the clothes is piled up to the ceiling. The kids haven't ate. You ain't got no food on the table. I mean, what, like, what, at this point, do the sex outweigh that? TV hotter than the stove. TV hotter than the stove. Mm. Like, brothers, do, do the vagina outweigh that? And if, if, if in your consciousness you say it does, something's wrong with you, brother. That's all I'm saying. And look, this is not to bash anybody. I'm not calling nobody out. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is self-experience for me, too. I have done this before. In my past, a long time ago. So I, I know exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? Long time ago. But, you know, we all have young men being bo Well, look, we young men. Women are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? We have hormones. So I get it. And women have hormones too. But it needs to be some type of stipulation and rule and guidelines that we need to go by. And we need to check ourselves before we start actually getting into things like that. Because it leads to sin. That stuff leads to sin. Because mm -hmm. next thing you know, you're going to be wanting another nigga's woman. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to be a problem. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 24. Uh -huh. Wherefore, y'all also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. Come on. To dishonor their own body. To what? To dishonor their own body. Dishonor their own body. You don't even know she a whore or not. Mm. You don't even know she a harlot, but you become one with a harlot. You ain't supposed to be becoming one with harlots. Why would you join yourself to a harlot? Right. You be brought low as a crumb of bread. Huh? Def look, defiling your own body. It's not only talking about serving other gods. Well, you actually is serving another god. You're serving a god called vagina. Mm. <sighs> Come on. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Come on, Hebrew. Who changed the truth of Yah into a lie Whew. and worshiped and served the creature. You hear that? You serving the creature. You sniffing up behind a woman's butt mm. instead of listening to what the Lord told you. You doing what you want to do just to fulfill this lust, just to fulfill this ejaculation, just to spill your seed. And look, check this out. Don't even want a baby up out of it. Uh oh. You spilling useless seed. Don't even want to, but you just, you just need to relieve yourself. That demon is in you that bad. You just want to hump everything you see like a, like a rabbit. Just go around humping all day. Ain't fulfilled nothing. Ain't fulfilling your purpose. Ain't doing nothing. You like a, a pit bull with the pink thing. Mm. Walking around horny just want to hump. Manipulating women just to hump. <sighs> all right, look, he going to judge them intentions. You going to have to pay for that. Stop it. You women, let a king find y'all. Quit being so eager and, and, and as soon as a nigga tell you something that sound good, he in your drawers. Mm. What's up with that? Come on. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Whew. Come on, let's keep it pushing. Let's hit that Matthews. Want that Matthews. Yeah. We're going to go to Matthew 6. Yeah, let's go to Matthew 6. Start at uh, 22, brother. Remember, sexual manipulation. Lust of the flesh corrupts the mind of men. And when I mean men, I mean male and female. Matthew 6. Yeah, start at, uh, start at 22. Let me check this out. Get her done. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 22. 
The light of the body is the eye. It says what? The light of the body is the eye. It says the light of the body is the eye. Let's look this up real fast. The light of the body is the eye. What do I mean? The light of the body is the eye. Hmm. 622. Give me a second, y'all. Matthew 6, verse 22. Mm-hmm. Says the light of the body is the eye. Let me go down the aisle. I'm going to let y'all hear this. Strong's G, 3788. Ophthalmos. Ophthalmos. Okay, ophthalmos. Now check out what this says. It says the eye. This says, metaphorically speaking, the eye of the mind. Who? The factual of knowing. Mm. The eye. It says implication, vision, envy. Or jealousy of a glance, the eyesight, the eye of the mind. Mm. So when it says, read it again. The light of the body is the eye. So the light of your body is your mind. That third eye is talking about, that pineal gland. Huh? Come on. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light so if that i be single let's look up this word single to be right way on a right path on a path to god a path to greatness come on let's look it up that i be single let's look up single here goes single right here y'all let me play it for y'all we don't hide nothing Strong's G, 573. Aplus. 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 Check out what single means. Single means to be, to be single. To be whole. Good fulfilling to office. Sound mind. Mm. <laughs> Sound mind. To be single. To be whole. So if your eye be whole. Whole in what? Truth. It says the whole body will be filled of light. Light is righteousness, y'all. Come on. Verse 23. But if thine eye be evil, mm. thy whole body shall be full of darkness. You hear that? But if that eye be evil, wicked, the intentions, says your whole body full of darkness. Huh? You lust with your eyes first. You see it and look good. You want it. Next thing you know, your body start committing these sins. Your body leads and start committing fornication. Now you know you're in bed with your brother's wife. Mm. Huh? Or you somewhere in the corner late night masturbating, jacking off, looking at pornos of somebody else's wife. Or you join yourself to a harlot. Or you just, you know, sexually manipulate a woman. Make her feel like you're going to be a king. Make her feel like you're going to take care of her. And then you lay with her and then it's done. You leave her. You don't mess with her no more. What are we doing here? Huh? Is your body that full of darkness? Is that eye that dark? Is that pineal gland, that mind, that eye, that mind seeing nothing but what? The lust of the flesh? Where is your mind at in this hour? Your mind on vagina or is your mind on the kingdom? We at war. Mm. Your mind on vagina? Huh? The scripture says in those days, wives be as though you had none. Not tearing the wives down, but we supposed to be focused on this war. But That's you focus right. on vagina. Can't wait to get home. Right. Come on, man. What's what's up with the spiritual work out here? Can't wait to get home or can't wait to go to somebody else's house. Right. Mm. Woo. Stop it. Come on, Hebrew. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Hey, and that darkness is very, very, very great. All right, let's move it on. We're going to go to Ephesians 6. You want that 24? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, man. No man can serve two masters. You hear that? You can't serve two masters. You can't serve God in vagina. You can't serve penis in the most high. Huh? You can't. Come on. For either he will hate the one Ooh. and love the other. Come on. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yah and man. Mm, you can't serve Yah and mammon, your God and money. But look, everybody think money is just silver and gold. Anything that benefits you counts as money. Mm-hmm. Come on now. 
Come on. Where you going after this one? All right, let's go to uh, that Ephesian sin. Uh, Ephesians, I said Ephesians sin. <laughs> <laughs> Ephesians 10. Yeah. Ephesians 6 and 10. We're going to start at 10. We got a couple words to look up real fast. I'm okay. tripping. <laughs> Yeah, that Ephesians 6 and 10. Yeah, 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 you already know. Yeah. Let's hit that up real quick. Hold on, one more there. Uh, Ephesians 6. Let me get there in my concordance. Okay. I remember sexual manipulation, the lust of the flesh, corrupt the mind of men. Yeah, I called into the show and asked Mally to read that for me. For the worldwide audience, that are feeding six and ten oh, to yeah. eighteen, yeah, it's powerful. Yeah, very powerful. Especially when you break it down, man. It's whoo. Yeah, we finna go and break this all the way down. I heard that. Hey, right, let's go and get it. We're in the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse ten. Mm -hmm. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Most High. Be weak in the most high. Be strong in the most high. It says you got to be strong in the most high. You better be strong in the most high. Otherwise, you're going to be weak in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Willing to drink a woman's bath water. Mm. All to get some vagina. Huh? And then look. What about these wicked women out here that love a man like that? You'd be giving your strength over to a woman at this time. Having a woman rule over you. All because of some vagina. You in subjection to vagina because you can't control your lower member. Come on, man. Come on with it. Let's go. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Most High and in the power of his might. Mm. Put on the whole armor of Yah. Hear that? Put on the whole armor of God from your toes to the hairs on your head. Come on. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hear that the trickery and deceitfulness of the devil. Hashatan, that deceiver. Because he going to go with what you know. And he know that Israel love, look, Israel man love wine and women. Mm. Wine and women. Something about wine and women. And that's what he used to have you sinning. That's what he used to have you putting your covenant into a harlot. That's what he used to have you fumbling around with your covenant like it's a football. Passing it around to everybody you see. Huh? Going into these married women. Or going into women making you think you're going to marry them. Huh? Hell, going into anything. Like, come on, quit thinking with the wrong head. I understand you have a, 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 a flesh to feed. Feed it spiritual things. And look, ain't nothing wrong with sex, y'all. Find you a woman that you want to be with forever. Hey, the bed under foul. Hey, do it every day for what we care. Hmm. Every minute of the day, who cares? That's, that's your woman. But we need to stop having, we need to quit sexually manipulating these women. And then putting that harlot stain on a jacket. And then keep it pushing. And then we get the vagina. And we done and they not attracted. We not attracted to no more because we done ejaculated. Our lust is gone. We want something else. And then we call them wicked. Hmm. You was just hitting that. Now she right, wicked. Right, Nigga, right. it ain't even been two days. Oh, oh you, just got, you just got your hump on. Now she wicked. Come on, man. That ain't right. But look, the most high gonna judge them attentions. Them attention. Because, you know, technically she was single. Technically... All right, them technical, you're going to technicality your ass straight to the leg of fire. Playing around with the Most High and his daughters of Zion. Playing around with the Most High and his sons of light. See, this is what I'm saying. It's a two-edged sword. This ain't only about the men. It's about the women, too. Mm -hmm. It's not only about the women. It's about the men, too. That's right. It's not only about y'all. It's about us, too. Yeah. Everybody is held accountable. This truth is the measuring stick. Ain't nobody over this. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Not even Christ himself, and he is the word. That's right. That's right. All right. Come on. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. You hear that? We're not even wrestling against flesh and blood. But that's all you want is flesh and blood. You want to be in a woman, inside a woman's flesh. Or you want a man's covered and inside your flesh. And this is not even where the war is at. You playing loin low warfare. Sexual warfare when it's a real war outside. Mm. Come on, man. We gots to do better, Israel. We gots to. Come on. Against power. Whew. 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world. You hear that? Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. What is this leading up to? It said, put on the whole arm of God for you can withstand the wiles and the trickery and deceitfulness of the devil. Mm -hmm. Because we wrestle and not against flesh and blood. This is right. this not the fight between me and no. him. The fight is in our minds. It's spiritual realm. This involuntary conscience that when we sleep, it's still going and moving and manipulating elements. Mm -hmm. The inner us. The intentions. We wrestling against spiritual realms, principalities, darkness. Come on. Against spiritual wickedness Ooh. in high places. In what? In high places. In high places. But you so worried about that woman's low places hmm. that you're not even thinking about the high places. You caught off guard. Devil and stole it off on you because you looking down at vagina mm -hmm. and you're not looking up. You're not thinking higher. Huh? We supposed to be above, not as not below. You supposed to be looking at our mind, thinking about our mind, a mind well instructed, not by how she looks good, doing what she doing on your covenant. Them the pledges and the do benevolence after you have taken her in, after y'all have made y'all agreement, after y'all had did what y'all supposed to do, according to the Most High. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This look, she ain't no wham bam, thank you, ma'am. That's a daughter of Zion. You feel me? She ain't no wham bam, thank you, ma'am. We as men have to start holding ourselves accountable. We not little boys no more. So grow up. It's time to grow up. Huh? When you was a kid, you did childish things. But when you became a man, you put away what? Childish things. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? Like like little teenagers run around lusting after each other like that. You know, catch a girl, get a girl. Hide and go seek. You some you know what. We beyond it. We need to be in the right mindset to get them off of that at their age. We need to be like, hey, what you doing? Huh? Take your little ass to school. Why is you worried about that for? Huh? But if we the ones, like, we not even teaching them right. They see us with the pink thing hanging out, chasing their tail. We see, so what, what they gonna do? So we have to change that. We have to start setting standards for ourselves and start setting standards for our, our youth, women. Start setting standards, like, like the elder said, y'all need to learn some spiritual worth about y'all selves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The last thing a, a Negro should be doing is in your vagina, especially if you ain't been out on no date, especially if he ain't, like what, like, I mean, what I mean by out on a date, out on a, out on a date, I don't mean him buying you things or taking you out to eat. I mean him literally doing something with you Spending his time getting to know you. The courting process. The courting process. And look, like I said, everybody that made the mistake before and jumped the gun. And, and the, the jump the gun. You know what I'm saying? But it's a time where we have to sit back, recognize what we're doing wrong, and fix it. Fix it. We can't keep repeating the same mistakes. A mistake re re repeated five times in a row is sin. It's not a mistake no more. <laughs> Negro, you doing that on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Am I lying on you, bro? Premeditated, too. <laughs> Premeditated. Come yeah. on, bro. Verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yah, yeah. that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. In the what? In the evil day. Come on. And having done all, to stand. Come on. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. You hear that? It says, stand therefore, having your loins girt about in truth. Your loins supposed to be girded up and found in a foundation of truth. Let's look up this word loins. Let's just look it up. Let's look up this word loins. Because remember, we're going over sexual manipulation. Let's corrupt the mind of a man. Mm -hmm. Let's look up this word loins. Listen up, y'all. Check this out. Strong's G, 3751, Asfus. 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 Check out what this says. It says, the hip region, the gird, the gird about the loins. Check this out. The place where the Hebrews thought the generative power, semen, resides. Oh. So this is talking about your semen. Bro, what do that say? That says semen. Semen. You know what semen is? That come out of what? Your covenant. Your covenant. It says you're supposed to guard your covenant with truth. Who? With truth. What is the truth? Let's go to John 17. Hold, hold your spot real quick. John 17, 17. What is the truth? Let's see what this truth is. I mean, I know y'all know, but we're going to take y'all there anyway. We got to. 
John 17, 17. So we see that loin. He said, gird your loins up with truth. Your, your loins is semen. Well, where do semen come and shoot forth from? Where do life shoot forth from? Your covenant, your penis. Is, it can't be girded up in truth after we find out what truth is. It can't be girded up in that if you sexually manipulating women just to get in their vagina and they draws in their womb, in their temple, place of worship. Come on. The book of John, mm -hmm. chapter 17, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. It says thy word is true. Thy word. Thy word is true. What is the word? I know y'all know, but we're going to take y'all there anyway. Go to John. We're in John. Yeah, oh, my bad. John 1. <laughs> John 1. You know, look excited, man. These scriptures, man. Hey, they hey, they the, do something to you, brother. Know you, know. It, bro. you know what I'm saying? They do something to you, brother. Right. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. Yeah, read 1 through 3, and then jump to verse uh, 14. In the beginning was the word. So this is that same word that you're supposed to be sanctifying yourself in. Huh? And then he said, gird your loins up in truth. We just found out that the word is thy truth. Now we need to find out what the word is. Come on, Hebrew. And the word was with Yah. Who? And the word was Yah. You hear that? One accord. Come on. The same was in the beginning with Yah. Mm -hmm. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made Ooh. that was made. Come on. You want me to jump to 14? Yeah, jump to 14. Verse 14. And the word was made flesh. You hear that? The word was made flesh. So who manifested themselves into flesh? Jesus Christ. But we're going to keep reading. And dwelt among us. Mm -hmm. And we beheld his glory. Mm. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. So who is the only begotten Son? Hamashiach Yahawasha. That's right. Come on. Full of grace and truth. Full of grace and what? Truth. Truth. So he said, gird your loins up with what? Truth. We mm -hmm. find out the truth is the word. The word was manifested in flesh, when which is the expression, the only begotten son of the father. So you supposed to have your loins girded up with Christ. That's right. Uh, was Christ going around humping on everything he's saying? No, he wasn't. So why or you? Why are you? Come on, let's get back to the Ephesians, bro. Okay. That's okay. Remember, sexual manipulation. Lust corrupt the mind of men. Lust of the flesh leads to sin. Lust of the flesh is attached to the world. We are from El El Yon. We aliens. We're strangers in this land. We Hebrew Israelites. We just come and look. We are literally... Spiritual beings having a human experience. We're not even from this land. We're here passing through. We're not here to pass through and hump everybody we see on the way back out. We're not here to do that. We're here to fulfill his word. We're here to teach his word. And we're here to keep his commandments and live for eternity. We're not here to just be humping women, manipulating women, and making whores out of the daughters of Zion. Mm -hmm. We're not. We have to be more conscious of that. Start holding yourself as a man to standards. You women. Start holding yourself to a standard. Like Elder said, y'all need to learn some spiritual worth about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Your legs is not an open Grand Canyon. So quit treating yourself like that. Come on. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14. Uh -huh. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Ooh. And having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You hear that? So your feet ain't supposed to be running to be chasing after another man's woman or chasing after a woman, period, like that. Huh? Your feet ain't supposed to be running. If your feet supposed to have peace on them, not loin warfare. Hmm. Not war, but peace. Come on. Above all. Taking the shield of faith. Now, if you have the shield of faith on and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're a righteous man, you're going to find a good woman. A woman that fulfill all them leads. A, a woman that fulfill all the lust that you have. But we got to stop manipulating these women. And you women got to stop falling for it. Maybe if more of y'all start standing up and stop falling for it, a lot of, a, a lot of these men will stop manipulating. So it's going to have to be a, a balanced effort. Because it's not all the man problem and fault. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't hear you ain't heard me say rape one time. That mean all this sex is what? Consensual. Mm-hmm. So it's not all his fault. It's your fault too. Cause secretly deep down you have a wicked lust too. Let's talk about it. Look, don't nobody want to talk about it. Don't don't get mad at the Yaki. <laughs> but look, they got mad at the messenger. They killed the messenger. So yeah. I mean, who am I? But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? It's the truth. Raw and uncut. Let's talk about it. I'm look, let's stop hiding the real problems that's going on in Israel. Huh? And, and the first one is Christ. Negroes don't want to deal with who a Mashiach is. And believe it or not, that second one is them hot lust loins. Mm -hmm. Vagina and penis. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Come on. 16 again. Uh -huh. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Ooh, come on. And take the helmet of salvation. Uh, that's look. That's what we all are leaning towards. That's that's what we all are, are going towards, right? That's the ultimate goal, salvation. Mm -hmm. So salvation is not inside of vagina. Salvation is not inside penis. Fact of the matter is, if you're not alive and translate when the Most High come back, you're gonna become brother and sister anyway and be like angels. Angels don't have sex. Why you think that the Watchers had to come down here to have sex with the women? They don't have sex. They don't have sexual desires like that. Unless they what? Lusting. Come on. And take the helmet of salvation mm -hmm. and the sword of the spirit. Yeah. Which is the word of Yah. Ooh, come on. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Yeah. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Ooh. And for me. That utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, mm. that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. All right, we good. We can stop that right there. All right, let's, let's, let's go, because, you know, we got to talk about this slave, this slavery, being a slave to your lower member. Let's go to Romans. We're going to go to Romans 6. Romans 6, you can start at, at 14. So Romans 6. Yeah, Romans 14. 6, you can start at 14, brother. Okay. We're in the book of Romans, chapter 6, starting at verse 14. Uh -huh. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Ooh, you hear that? For sin shouldn't have dominion over you? Come on. For ye are not under the law, who? but under grace. Under who? Under grace. Come on. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Mm -hmm. Yah forbid. Yah forbid. Huh? Just because you have something, you know, this technicality. You look just because you can technicality your way out of the scripture. Just because you can technicality your way out of the scripture, that don't mean nothing. Because most eyes gonna judge the reins of your heart. Come on. Okay. Verse sixteen. Uh -huh. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey? His servants ye are to whom ye obey. You hear that? So look, if you yield your members to sex, then who do you obey? Sex. If you yield your, your members to a, a woman's vagina, what become your God at that point? You enslaved to what? Lust. Mm -hmm. Flesh. You not enslaved to the most high. You enslaved to your master have become flesh at this point. Flesh must die. It's corruptible. It must go into the ground. So you have became enslaved to what? Death. That's something serious. Come on, you bro. Whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Ooh. But y'all be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. Mm. But ye have obeyed from the heart that, fo that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin. That, but notice, you had to what? 
You had to change in your heart first. Your attentions had to change. Now you're free from sin because you're in Christ. You're not, you're not in subjection to women no more. You're not in subjection to the flesh no more. Women, you're not in subjection to the flesh of men no more. Y'all in subjection to God. Mm -hmm. And that's the union. Now you're free from sin. Come on. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Whew. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. Mm. For as ye... <laughs> hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on. Hey, read that over again. Call verse, out that verse. Verse 19. Read this. <laughs> I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. Because the infirmity of your flesh in human terms, meaning weakness, the weakness mm -hmm. of your flesh. You weak. In your lower members. You don't have enough power, to, spiritual power to even think above. You yielding yourself to your lower members. Chasing vagina. You chasing penis. Y'all chasing each other and not chasing God. Mm. Whew, that is some, that's powerful. Come on. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness Whew. and to iniquity unto iniquity. Because look, that's what this stuff leads to. Look, spiritual idolatry leads to spiritual fornication. You know? Uh, uh, you being weak in the flesh towards women leads to adultery because it never be enough. You start doing all this. You want that vagina, that vagina, that vagina. Now you want his vagina. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that, now you, you looking at your brother's woman. She get up and turn around. You looking at her behind. You know what I'm like? What type of wickedness is that? And that's gay anyway because they want flesh. So if you look at your brother's woman butt, you looking at his butt. Mm -hmm. Now you're homosexual. And adultery. <laughs> and ain't none of them getting into the kingdom of God. Come on. Even so now, yield your member servants to righteousness unto holiness. Whew, we can stop that right there. We stop that right there. I liked it that boy. Let's get that James. Book of James, and then we're gonna we gonna get into this lost books. And then we're gonna get back and forth to the scriptures. See you know what I'm saying? We got a couple more scriptures. We're gonna do James. Let's get the James real quick. Ooh. Boy. Paul hmm. know he be getting down, man. Paul be getting down. <laughs> hey, Shaul don't be playing, man. We're gonna do James 4, brother. Okay. Yeah, man, it's my elder right here, man. He, he's the oracle, man. His his reading. Hey man, I give all thanks and praises to the Most High. Hey, all praises, brother, all praises. Let's try to do my my little part wherever I can. What they say, get in where you fit in. Yeah, most definitely, get in where you fit in, brother. Look, there's many different parts of the body. That's right. Hey, you just happen to be the orator. You know what I'm saying, elder? Hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. And I don't I'm, I'm gonna stick to teaching because <laughs> I, I, I can't read that good. That's all right. I can break down some scriptures though. I, I got you covered. If I ain't breaking them down, I'll read them. <laughs> <laughs> let's get let's get it done. Uh, let's do a uh, James 4, 14, 14 and 17. The book of James, chapter 4. Start at 13, Hebrew. Verse 13. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell, and get gain. Mm. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? Yeah, what is your life? Your life is but a vapor. Your life is but a vapor. But you, you, you spend it chasing paper and vagina. You spend it chasing a king. That and look, he's supposed to be looking for you. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be trying to be a virtuous woman. You supposed to be trying to mimic wisdom. He supposed to be trying to mimic Christ and be Christ-like. When have the roles been switched? When did we stop holding ourselves to these type of stipulations and standards? When did this happen? Come on. 14 over. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time Whew. and then vanisheth away. Come on. For that ye ought to say, if the Most High will, we shall live Come on. and do this or that. Mm -hmm. But now ye rejoice in your boastings Ooh. 
all such rejoicing is evil. You hear that? Just rejoicing and all your boasting or like men. Yeah, I hit that. Yeah, it was whack though. I hit that. Psh. Man, I hit Keisha, Shonda, Raronda, uh, Tanisha, Ronisha. But, but what's what? Just anything, you know? Like who get up and talk about who they done hit? And you be like, look, all you gotta do is ask one question. Is you still with any one of them? They be mm. like, nah. Oh, so you turned all these women into harlots? Mm. Damn, is you that bad that don't none of these, can't none of these women stay with you? What's on your mind? It's not a good thing to have what they call it, uh, you just another nigga on the hit list, Rihanna. You know, you just another nigga on the hit list. Or uh the man call it body counts. I got like 50 bodies on me, bro. So you think it's good that you slept with 50 women and you not with one of them? Maybe you're the issue. Mm. Maybe you're the problem. Maybe you have been sexually manipulating these women. And these weak-minded women been letting you. Come on, bro. Verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good. So look, for him that knoweth to do good. Come on. And doeth it not. To him, it is sin. You know, if you know to do good and you don't do good, that's sin unto you. Now it's getting back into them intentions. Notice it didn't say law, but it said good. Mm -hmm. So now it's trying the reins of the heart. Let's look at this word good. Because a person, because look, this, this is how technical people get. Well, technically, transgressing the law is sin. I right, well, what about the manipulation of the law and how you can slide up out of and say, well, technically, I didn't break the law. But your attention was all messed up. You telling me you don't get judged for that? Let's look up this word good. Word good. Strong's G 2570. Kalas. Kalas. Alright, good. Kalas. This is exactly what it says. It says, uh, uncertain. Uh, uncertain affinity, uncertain if, how you say that, brother? Affinity. Uncertain affinity, properly, beautiful, but chiefly, good, valuable, or virtuous. Whew. It says, which is properly, it says better, fair, good, to be honest, honest, to meet, to be well, to be worthy. So, it's talking about honesty here. Look, honorable, when you keep looking, honesty, honorable. Who? Genuine. Mm. Look at these words. Genuine. Mm. Honorable. Honesty. So it says that you're supposed to be honorable. You're supposed to be honest. So when you read this verse again, therefore, to him that knoweth to be honorable, to be honest, to be genuine, and do it not to him is sin. So if you're not honorable or being genuine in your thought process when you're approaching these women and your intentions is to do them harm for or just to get their vagina and keep it pushing, to you that would be counted as sin. There is no technicality no more. Right. We just read it. We just looked it up. So you can't get around the law, player. It's spiritual. You can't get around that. Whew. That's deep right there. Yeah, man. They look for those loopholes. Yeah, but hey, once you start really reading, it ain't no loopholes That's because right. we under the order of Mikhail's at death. That's right. Ain't no more technicality. It ain't no more fleshly law. The law became spiritual. So check yourself. First John. Let's go to First John. First John 2. Matter of fact, I said after James, we're going to get in the lost books. Let's go hit this lost books and we, uh, we get back at it. Let me check this camera, bro. Right, let's get to these lost books. Uh, for y'all that don't know, this is the Apocrypha. Yes, we read and study out of it. Now, this is the Pseudopigrapha. I mean, the Pseudopigrapha. And yes, we read and study up out of them. This is uh, Old Testament, Volume 1. My bad, y'all. Pseudopigrapha and Apocrypha or Apocrypha. Mm -hmm. They all uh, lost books. So, we finna get to it. We on page... 783, we in the testament of the 12 patriarchs, the son of Jacob, the patriarch. And uh, we're going to read about Reuben and get into some things that was going on with him and how he couldn't control his lower member. So uh, we might as well start at uh, one for real. Okay. The testament of Reuben, the firstborn son of Jacob and Leah. 
a copy of the Testament of Reuben, the things which he commanded to his sons before he died in the 125th year of his life, two years after the death of Joseph, his brother Reuben became sick, and there gathered to watch over him his sons and his son's sons. And he said to them, My children, behold, I am dying, and I am going the way of my fathers. When he saw Judah and Gad and Asher, his brothers, there he said to them, Raise me up so that I can tell my brothers and my children the things that I have hidden in my heart. Ooh, the things he had what? He had hidden in his heart. He's going to reveal his own secret attentions, his own consciousness. What happened if we had more brothers like this? He's going to talk about the things that's been hunting him, the things that don't nobody else know about. Let's see what he say. For behold, I am departing from you now. And when he was raised up, he kissed them and said to them, Listen, my brothers and my sons, give heed to the things, give heed to the things which I, Reuben, your father, command you. Come on. See here, I call the, the God of heaven to bear witness to you this day so that you will not behave yourselves in the ignorant ways of youth and sexual promiscuity. You hear that? He said, look, this, oh, he on his deathbed. He's going out. The last thing he got to tell his brothers, and he ain't saying nothing else. He said, look, watch out for this sexual promiscuity. How you say it? Promiscuity. Promiscuity. These sexual sins, these sexual behaviors. He said, look, watch out for that. Watch your lower member. Control the lower member. What do that mean? He's on his deathbed. He can say anything he want to say, but he's talking about sex. Come on. And sexual promiscuity in which I indulged myself and defiled the marriage bed of my father, Jacob. So do you think it just started that he just committed adultery with his father's wife or did something lead to that was his attentions messed up at first because who just jumped into adultery it's steps that lead up into adultery so what was he doing he wasn't controlling his flesh he was thinking too much with the wrong head mm -hmm. and that led up to sin it led to sin so technically no, it's not a sin, but uh, when it leads up to what he's doing, now you have broken a law. So not only was your intentions off, now you have broken an actual law. Two strikes against you. We just read, we just read what good meant. It meant to be honest, to be genuine. And it says for him that know to do good and don't do good, what? It's to him sin, it's counted as sin. That's right. Come on. But I tell you, he struck me with a severe wound in my loins. You hear that? He gave him... A severe wound in his Johnson and his penis for that. Now you wonder where STDs come from. Maybe it comes from you humping everything you see. Huh? Leviticus 12 all the way to 15. Start getting down at 15 and start looking at them issues. I'm talking about STDs. That is a byproduct of you going around humping everything you see. Mm. And then look, you would do that in the whole time have a wife at home. So what you gonna bring that back to her? Because you want to hump everything you see? Huh? And this is like y'all brothers getting to the truth to know, know scripture just to manipulate women. But yeah, come on, let's, let's study. Next thing you know, you're in, a, in her pants. I thought we supposed to be studying. You brothers, look, y'all gonna get it the worst. You're the ones that use and twist and turn this word or use this word just to get vagina. Or you sisters that just getting this truth and be around because you want to find you a, a king. You ain't supposed to be finding no king. He's supposed to be finding you. And you supposed to be finding a virtuous woman or trying to find one that's well instructed for she can become a virtuous woman, not mm -hmm. a vagina. Mm -hmm. Most high gonna holler at y'all. Come on. But I tell you, he struck me with a severe wound in my loins for seven months. And if my father, Jacob, had not prayed to the Most High in my behalf, the Most High would have destroyed me. Who, you hear that? If his father, how, how, how dope Jacob was. He done lay with his wife and he prayed to spare his son. Mm -hmm. He said if he didn't, he said it'd been worse than this, this loin 
this loin disease I got, I'll be dead. Come on. For I was 30 years old when I committed this evil deed in the sight of the Most High. Man. And for seven months, I was an invalid on the brink of death. Whew. And after this, with determination of soul, for seven years, I repented before the Most you hear High. You that? For seven months, he had this in his loins. But for seven years, he repented. Real repentance. He turned back. He's not, his attention is not on that no more. He's not chasing vagina. You know, he, he's really consulting with himself inside his heart. He knew that he did wrong. Come on. I did not drink wine or liquor. Ooh, no wine, no liquor, no, none of this. Mm. No wine, no liquor. He took away all the pleasures. Come on. Meat did not enter my mouth. Ooh. And I did not eat any pleasurable food. You hear that? Come on. Rather, I was mourning over my sin. Only if we was like that. Every time that we did a woman like that and we repented, salve cloths, ashes, no liquor, no wine, no drink, no meat. Because we feel bad for manipulating a woman sexually, manipulate, manipulating a woman. And we, and, and we actually get down on our knees and we ask for repentance and we turn back. Maybe if, if the youth and other brothers and other sisters see a lot of more brothers doing that, maybe this problem will stop. Come on. Since it was so great, never had anything like it been done in Israel. Ooh. And now, give heed to me, my children, concerning the things which I saw during my time of penitence, concerning the seven spirits of deceit. Let's get into the seven spirits of deceit. Come on. For seven spirits are established against mankind. It says against mankind. Not with mankind, but against them. Come on. And they are the sources of the deeds of youth. And seven other spirits are given to man at creation so that by them every human deed is done. You hear that? So the, the, the deeds that the Most High give us, we use for sin. We're supposed to be using it to serve him. But we using these deeds for sin. I had did a class called uh, the uh, the addiction, and I was talking about this. So he's finna get all the way to it. I didn't get to get to this part, but look, peep what's really finna go down here. All of these senses and all of these things and gifts that God gave us, we use for wickedness. We use for sex and lust of the flesh, and we don't use to serve Him. Come on. First is the spirit of life. Mm -hmm with which man is created as a composite being. Right. The second is the spirit of seeing, with which comes desire. You hear that? Seeing comes desire. That's why in scriptures, Matthew 5, we're going to read it, but he said if you even look to lust after a woman, another man's woman, you already committed adultery. Look. If you just look. You ain't even got to touch nothing. If you look. Come on. The third is the spirit of hearing, with which comes instruction. Mm -hmm. The fourth is the spirit of smell, with which is given taste for drawing air and breath. Mm. The fifth is the spirit of speech, with which comes knowledge. The sixth is the spirit of taste for consuming food and drink. By it comes strength. Because in food is the substance of strength. The seventh is the spirit of procreation and intercourse. Of what? Procreation and intercourse. So what are we doing with this spirit? Notice he's talking about these seven spirits or these seven energies. Huh? Come on. With which comes sin through fondness for pleasure. Let's read it one more time. With which comes sins. Through fondness for pleasure. Come on. For this reason, it was the last in the creation and the first in youth. You hear that? That's the last because he knew. It's some energy that come with that boy, that sexual. It's some energy that come with that energy. That loin, that loin energy, that loin wheel or what people call chakra. It's, man, some sin come with that mm. because Negroes are led by it. Women are led by it. Hey, statistically, when you put numbers to it, it say that the women are more hornier than men. 
Like, why don't we never talk about this? Why is this the big elephant in the room that nobody speaks about? Huh? We got to discuss this. Come on. Because it is filled with ignorance. Because it's filled with what? Ignorance. It's filled with unawareness. Willfully unawareness. Come on. It leads the young person like a blind man. You hear that? It leads him like a blind man. He following his penis blindly. His penis is the all seeing eye now. And he's just running into any vagina he see. Come on. It leads the young person like a blind man into a ditch Ooh. and like an animal over a cliff. Come on. In addition to all is an eighth spirit, mm -hmm. sleep, with which is created the ecstasy of nature and the image of death. Ooh. With these are commingled the spirits of error. You hear that? When you when you dealing falsely with these, error come. Error is produced. Wickedness is produced. And guess what it amount to? Death. Mm. Come on. First, the spirit of promiscuity resides in the nature of and the senses. <laughs> Read that again, brother. First, the spirit of promiscuity resides in the nature of and the senses. You hear that? What are your senses? You touch, you hear, you see, you smell, you taste. Huh? It says that sexual spirit is in there because it has to attach to the flesh. Well, the only way to your flesh is by touching, seeing, smelling, tasting, and hearing. You were led by the flesh with that. These gifts are supposed to be used to sustain your body to serve God, but you sustaining your body and you using these things for vagina or for penis. Mm. Selfish. The most high gonna come holler. And when the most high holler, man. That's the trouble day. That's the day of trouble. The day of wrath for real. Come on. A second spirit of insatiability in the stomach. Mm -hmm. A third spirit of strife in the liver and the gall. You hear that? These things kill you. They kill you. It shut down your immune system. It's a, that's a real disease. It's a mental disease that actually kills you. Disease kills, leads to death. Mm-hmm. Huh? Being a sexual manipulator is a disease. And it brings forth death. Come on. A fourth spirit of flattery and trickery. Mm. In order that through excessive effort... One might appear to be at the height of his power. You hear that? He used all these things to make it seem like he's the ish. Right. When he's actually a pal of ish. Making it seem like he got all this and he got all of that. Or he teach this many people. Or he do that. Or he own this and he own that. He got a car. He got... Okay. Why are you telling me y'all? Y'all should be like, okay, what do that mean? Because look, what comes after that? You want to come over? You want to study? Oh, can I come over and study? Nah, we can study over the phone, player. Man, just come over. You want, you want to Netflix and chill? That's mm. what y'all say? I was about to say that's it. Yeah, man. Netflix, Netflix and, and chill. chill. <laughs> yeah, y'all going to be chilling, all right? And then the next day, he going to act like he ain't know you. The next day, you know, it probably wasn't good enough. Or he just probably, you know, relieved himself. Now he's on to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, until he finds himself and inside his brother's wife draws. Then what? Huh? And that day, whoo! Don't let me catch you in my house. Oh. Come on, you bro. A fifth spirit of arrogance mm. that one might be boastful and haughty. A sick spirit of lying. Uh, don't a lying time come with that? Oh, yeah, look, baby, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that. Look, just marry. Look, we're going to get married. I got you. Yeah, go, yeah, just go, yeah. Next thing you know, she done gave it up. Listening to you thinking you was truthful in the spirit. She done gave you her whole body and you just dealt falsely with her, man. Come on. Which through destructiveness and rivalry... Handles his affairs smoothly and secretively. And what? And secretively. Okay, if it's like that, then why is she a secret? Why don't nobody know about her? Why you got her off the books and shit? She's just on the shelf somewhere. You pull her off when you want to. You... Alright, I'm poor. 
I'm gonna pull Rashida off the shelf today. I'm, I think I'm gonna read her today. Hmm. Then you're done, and you're gonna put her back on the shelf. Dang, that's how we dealing with Daughters of Zion now, hmm. brother? That's what we do with Daughters of Zion? Come on now, come on. Handles his affairs smoothly and secretively, Ooh. even with his relatives and his household. Come on. A seventh spirit of injustice with which are thefts and crooked dealings mm. in order that one might gain his heart's desire for, for injustice works together with the other spirits through acceptance of bribes. Ooh. With all these, the spirit of sleep forms an alliance. And that's when you start committing the same wickedness in what? Your sleep. Come on. Which results in error and fantasy. And who? And fantasy. You doing all this and you lusting out the woman so much. Next thing you know, you in your sleep banging your brother's wife. Mm. Yeah. That's what you've been thinking about when you was consciously aware. Now she in your sleep. And you banging your brother's wife. Well, guess what? That ain't your brother's wife. That's a demonic spirit disguised mm -hmm. in this hurt. So not only did you commit adultery, but now you're having sex with demons. Mm. Because your wicked hot loins, your lust. Come on. And thus, every young man is destroyed. Ooh, destroyed, come on. Darkening his mind from the truth. Mm, we just read what the truth was. The truth is the word. The word was manifested in his flesh. We just read in Matthew 6 that if the eye be darkened, the whole body be darkened. Mm -hmm. Come on. Neither gaining understanding of the law of Yah. You hear that? Because you gain an understanding of the law of your draws. Mm. Come on. Nor heeding the advice of his fathers. Just this way my plight in my youth. And now my children. Love truth and she will preserve you. You hear that? Love truth. Don't love your Lord. Remember, don't love sex. Love truth. She will preserve you. Come on. Give heed to the words of Reuben, your father. Come on. Do not devote your attention to a woman's looks. Ooh, it says do not do what? Devote your attention to a woman's looks. It says don't be looking at a woman's looks. Stop right here. Let's go back in the scripture. Go to Proverbs 6 real quick. Proverbs 6.25. Proverbs 6.25. Because scripture tell you this. Why are you stumbling at the beauty of a woman? You're going to stumble and bust your head trying to look at some ass. Yeah, Proverbs 6, brother, 25. Yeah, we got to talk about it. And look, if your discretion is advised, don't don't, don't be, you know, if you got children that's, uh, you know, too young, they shouldn't be watching this video. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 25. Uh-huh. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart. Do, do you hear that? Lust not after her beauty in your mind, in your intentions, in your consciousness. Come on. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. You hear that? Don't let her flattering eyelids get you. Because you be doing some things you ain't supposed to be doing on the other side of midnight. Come on. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. You hear that? That will bring you to a piece of bread. A piece of bread ain't worth nothing. You feed birds with that. Mm. That can't feed no man. Come on. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Who will hunt for your life. And notice, this spirit be amongst all of our brothers. You know what I'm saying? Where, where they just look, they, they get dumbfounded. They see a beautiful, look, I get caught sometimes where I have to bang back real quick. Like, boy, you, know, she, you ain't even checking to see if she had a, a ring on her finger. That's how quick it can be. We can stop that right there. That's how quick it can be. You have to be on guard at all times because you see one of these beautiful women, the body be right. Next thing you know, yeah, mm -hmm. right, yeah, go ahead, go down. Next thing you know, you in a trend. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Smack yourself out of it if you have to. If you have to. Come on. Verse 27. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Huh? Look, can you take fire in your bosom? Can you sit a fire on your lap and don't burn your clothes? No, nah, your clothes gonna get burned. Come on. Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? Ooh, come on. So he that goeth in to his neighbor's wife, Ooh. whosoever toucheth her, 
shall not be innocent. And look, the Negro today don't even say, do Woo. you got a man? They don't even say, do you got a man? They don't care. All they see is hips, butt, breasts, yep. pre-face, pretty eye. They don't even ask that question. Mm, mm, mm. We gotta get it together. Let's get back to it. Call out your virtues in for they can keep up. Okay. I am uh, in the second chapter, verse 10. No, third chapter, verse 10. I'm sorry. We back in the 12, uh, we back in the testament of the 12 patriarchs, sons of the Jacob, of, sons, the sons of Jacob, the patriarch. In chapter 3, verse 10. Uh-huh. Do not devote your attention to a woman's looks, Ooh. nor live with a woman who is already married. Ooh. Nor become involved in affairs with women. You hear that? You can't become involved in affairs with women. All these different women. You can't even keep up. Huh? You can't even keep up. Come on. For if I had not seen Bilhah bathing in a sheltered place. If, she had, if he had not who? Seen. Mm -hmm. Same thing that who? Seen. Taking a bath on a rooftop. David. So you see Israel have this problem bad. Come on. I would not have fallen into this great lawless act. Mm. For so absorbed were my senses by her naked femininity. You hear that? You blow it. Look, you following your, your members. You just had to have it. Just had to have it. When there's many women out here that ain't even married. But you ain't even think about that. You just want to bust you up, you know. You just want to ejaculate. Mm. Let's stop that right here. Hold on. We're going we gonna to keep reading, but uh, I got something. Book of Ecclesiasticus, the side of the Apocrypha, y'all. Uh, Book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 21. It says, Stumble not at the beauty of a woman, and mm. desire her not for pleasure. Who? And desire her not for pleasure. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman, and desire her not for pleasure. We doing all the wrong things, y'all. Come on with it, bro. Okay. Says, while our father Jacob had gone off to visit his father Isaac, and we were at at Gader or Gader mm -hmm. near Ephrathah in Bethlehem, Bilhah became drunk and was sound asleep. You hear that? So look, make sure y'all taking this these wine and these liquors in, and y'all maintaining them, man. Don't be just guzzling down because you get caught slipping and caught off guard. And remember, you men. Our main problem is wine and women. Huh? Come on. Naked in her bedchamber. So when I came in and saw her nakedness, I performed the impious deed without her being aware of it, Ooh. leaving her sleeping soundly. I went out, and immediately a messenger from Yah revealed it to my father. He came and made lamentation over me and never again touched her. You hear that? So now she can't even have sex or she can't even be pleasured because he want to go and sneak and do these evil, wicked deeds. Come on. Verse 4 or chapter 4. Do not devote your attention to the beauty of women, my children. How many times we done heard this? Just like five times now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on. Nor occupy your minds with their activities. Yeah, that's, who cares? Don't be occupied. Do what man do. Your activity should be serving God. And her activity should be serving you. Come on. But live in integrity of heart. In what? Integrity of heart. Yeah, that's your intention supposed to have integrity. Come on, here, boy. In the fear of the Most High. Ooh. And weary yourself in good deeds. Yeah. In learning. And in tending your flock. You hear that? Tend the flock. Teach this word. Don't be chasing up behind vagina. Come on. Until the Most High gives you the mate whom he will. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what did that just say? Until the Most High gives you the mate whom he will. No, nah, uh, just keep, you know, putting my covenant into women after women until I find one. No, nah, gotta wait. On he gives you the one he wants you to have. You hear that? He gonna prepare you. And then when you go seeking, you will run across that one. You don't, it's not trial and error. Mm -hmm. And women, let him find you. You don't find him. Come on. So that you do not suffer. So you do not what? So that you do not suffer. Come on, brother. As I did. Ooh. For until my father's death, 
I never had the courage to look him in the face or speak to any of my brothers because of my disgraceful act. Mm. Even until now, my conscience harasses me because of my impious act. You hear that? Look, your conscience, your, 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 your conscience bear witness to your sin, man. Come on. And yet, my father consoled me greatly and prayed to the Most High in my behalf so that the master's anger would pass me by, which is just how Yahweh treated me. From that time until now, I have kept a careful watch and have not sinned. You know, he's not even looking at no woman. I'm a, he's a eunuch at this point. He's like, look, I'm not even worried about no vagina. Mm -hmm. Come on. So then, my children, observe all the things that I command you, and do not sin, mm. for the sin of promiscuity is the pitfall of life, Ooh. separating man from Yah and leading on toward idolatry. Isn't that what I said at first? You chasing out the vagina like that and manipulating, sexually manipulating these women, that leads to sin, and this same sin leads to idolatry. Mm. I, look, I'm. Scripture said, "Come on." Because it is the deceiver of the mind. It's the deceiver of what? Of the mind and the perceptions, and leads youth down to hell before their time. You hear that? No, so look. You thinking you following vagina, but you really following to you following hell. You following death to the grave. Come on. For promiscuity has destroyed many. Have destroyed who? Many. No, just some people. Many. Many Negroes and died from this type of wicked, sinful lust. Come on. Whether a man is old, well-born, rich, or poor, he brings on himself disgrace among mankind and provides Belier with an opportunity to cause him to stumble. You hear that? So now we know. We have to gird up the loins of truth because we supposed to, look, the trickery and wiles of the devil. We got to withstand it. And the first thing he going to attack on you, Negroes, is y'all penis. Because he know that's what, that's, hey, wine and women. I'm going to mm -hmm. get them drunk. I'm going to put some beautiful women around. Or I'm going to get them drunk with beautiful women. I'm going to put as a lot of beautiful women around. Now he drunk with lust. And now you're going to start touching, grabbing, and stroking. Then you wake up and you're like, what have I done? Come on. You heard how Joseph protected himself from a woman and purified his mind from all promiscuity. You hear that? Joseph did what, like 20 years old? That? He didn't touch her. She throwing it at him. He's like, look, I'm cool. I don't want that. Huh? I got better things to do with my time. I don't want another man's vagina. Come on. He found favor before Yah and men. Mm -hmm. For the Egyptian woman did many things to him, summoned magicians, and brought potions for him. But his soul's deliberation rejected evil desire. You hear that? Because he knew that everything that glitter ain't gold. He knew that. He was a man of, of uh, he was an honorable and honest man. He was honorable and honest, and he had control over his lower member. Come on. For this reason, the Elohim of his of our fathers rescued him from every visible or hidden death. Ooh. For if promiscuity does not triumph over your reason, then neither can Belial conquer you. Come on. For women are evil. Ooh, for my, women are what? For women are evil, mm. my children. And by reason of their lacking authority or power over man, they scheme treacherously how they might entice him to themselves by means of their looks. So you, so you women out there that's doing this in the truth, because yes, there's women out here in the truth that's still doing this. Check yourself. You not in this truth just to get no penis and to rule over Negroes? Check yourself. Come on. And whomever they cannot enchant by their appearance, they conquer by a strategy. What is you doing in the truth not even covered up? Butt showing, tight dresses on. What is you doing? Why is you in class? Why is you walking around in class with tight dresses on? Who is you trying to show your figure to? Huh? You just parading yourself? I'm a free agent. We supposed to be in class studying. We supposed to be at 
feast days, giving thanks to the Lord, praising the Lord. We ain't at feast days auctioning off women. Mm. Huh? Having sexual manipulation meetups and meetings. Come on. Indeed, the angel of Yahweh told me and instructed me that women are more easily overcome by the spirit of promiscuity than are men. I just told y'all that looked that up. Statistics will tell you women are more hornier than men. That ain't me. Look, don't kill the messengers. Hey, don't get mad at y'all key. Wow. Come on. They contrive in their hearts against men. Then, by decking themselves out, they lead men's minds astray. By a look, they implant their poison. And finally, in the act itself, they take them captive. Mm. For a woman is not able to coerce a man overtly, but by a harlot's manner, she accomplishes her, 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 her villainy. Mm -hmm. According, wait, accordingly, my children, flee from sexual promiscuity. What did it say? Flee from sexual promiscuity. Look, notice he ain't talking about nothing else. He on his dead bed, on his death bed. All he talking about is what? Uh, sex. Mm-hmm. That's all he talking about. He ain't said nothing else. This is how important this is to this man. Come on. And order your wives and your daughters not to adorn their heads and their appearances so as to deceive men sound minds. For every woman who schemes in these ways is destined for eternal punishment. Ooh. For it was thus that they charmed the watchers mm. who were before the flood as they continued looking at the women. What? Looking at the women? Following yeah. their lust? Mm-hmm. They were filled with desire for them and perpetrated the act in their minds. Mm. Then they were transformed into human males. You hear that? They, they perpetrated the act and they what? In their minds. Their minds. Intentions. Come on. And while the women were co cohabitating, while the women were cohabiting with their husbands, they appeared to them. Since the women's minds were filled with lust for these apparitions, they gave birth to giants. For the watchers were disclosed to them as being as high as the heavens. Mm. Chapter 6. So guard yourself against sexual promiscuity. And if you want to remain pure in your mind, protect your senses from women. And tell them not to, com to consort with men. So that they too might be pure in their minds. Yes. For even recurrent chance meetings, although the impious act itself is not committed, Ooh. are for these women are incurable disease. Hold on, read that again, brother. For even recurrent chance meetings, although the impious act itself is not committed. Even though it's not committed itself. Back to my tent and to the intentions. Come mm -hmm. on. Are for these women an incurable disease. Ooh. But for us, they are the plagues of Belial and the eternal disgrace because in sexual promiscuity there is a place for neither understanding Ooh. nor piety. Come on. And every passion dwells in its desire. Y'all hear that? It don't, I don't even have to break this down. He's breaking it down <laughs> itself. Come on. For this reason, I say to you, you will vie with the sons of Levi and will seek to be exalted above them. But you will not be able, for Yah will perform vengeance in, its, in their behalf, and you will die an evil death, since Yah gave Levi the authority and to Judah with him as well as to me and to Dan and to Joseph to be rulers. It is for this reason that I command you to give heed to Levi because he will know the law of Yah and will give instructions concerning justice and concerning sacrifice for Israel until the consummation of time. He is the anointed priest of whom the Most High spake. Come, we can jump, we can jump. Flip the page, go to chapter five. We read that, we get back to the scriptures. Read chapter five. Chapter five. Because nothing evil resided in Joseph, he was attractive in appearance. 
What is that? And. Okay, my D didn't print. Yeah, my, my N didn't print, see? But it still it says and. Okay. <laughs> he was attractive in appearance and handsome to behold. For the for the face evidences any troubling of the spirit. And now my children, make your hearts virtuous in the most high sight. Make your path straight before men, and you shall continually find grace with the most high and with men. Right. Guard yourselves from sexual promiscuity because fornication is the mother of all wicked deeds. What is fornication? Fornication is the mother of all wicked deeds. And why is fornication the mother of all wicked deeds? Because it, that's what happened in the garden. Uh -huh. That was the first sin of man. Come on. It separates from Yah and leads men to Belial. All right, we can drop that. Let's get back to the scriptures. We got a couple more scriptures, y'all. We're going to go and get up out of here. I know we kind of, you know, Terry didn't look too long, but we need y'all to get this understanding. So uh, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, brother. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Let's get her done. Remember, sexual manipulation. Sexual manipulation. We got to make sure we watch that, y'all. We really do. Want to start that at 1? Yeah, start it at 1, Pete. Bro. We are in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust, and not before the saints. Mm. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Ooh. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? Now look, jump, jump down to verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yah? Hmm. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. Ooh, that's all we've been talking about, for real, come on. Nor idolaters. The fornicators lead to idolaters, come on. Nor adulterers. Adulterers is a fornicator, come on. Nor effeminate. Ooh, come on. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Uh -huh. Nor thieves. Mm. Nor covetous. Yeah. Nor drunkards. Mm. Nor revilers. Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yah. Come on. And such were some of you. Yeah, and such were some of you. You were some of these people leading with your lower member, being weak with the wrong head. Come on. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, mm -hmm. but ye are justified in the name of Yahweh and by the spirit of our Elohim. Uh -huh. All things are lawful unto me. But all things are not expedient. But all things are not expedient. Okay, so technically, yes, it's not a sin. But it's not expedient because you become a st stumbling block. And then that becomes a sin. Come on. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, tw verse 12. All, yeah, all things, are, all things are lawful unto me. But all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me. But I will not be brought under the power of any. All right, we can stop there right there. So look, let's go from there. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians 10. Because, you know, everybody say, well, I was tempted by God. Mm. If, if, if I ain't supposed to be having sex with these beautiful women, and why God make them so beautiful then? I done heard it all. Yeah. I done heard it all. Let's, get, let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 10. You start at 11, brother. 1 Corinthians 10. And 11. Matter of fact, matter of fact, started at verse uh, 7. All right, we're in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10. We're going to start at verse, verse 7. Verse 6. 1 Corinthians 10. <laughs> uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 6. Hey, How right? about that? You good, El? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now these things were our examples. To the intent we should not lust after evil things. Ooh, to the what? To the intent. To the intent we should not lust after evil things. As they also lusted. Uh -huh. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them. As it is written, 
the people sat down to eat and drink mm -hmm. and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication mm -hmm. as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Come on. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted Whew. and were destroyed of serpents. Come on. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Uh -huh. Now all these things happen unto them for in samples, and they are written for our admonition. That's right. Or admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Come on. There hath no temptation. Yeah, now what? There hath no temptation mm -hmm. taken you but such as in common to man. Look, this is a common thing, man. Seeing a beautiful woman and lusting is a common thing. You ain't supposed to fall for that lust. This is common amongst Israel. Mm -hmm. Come on. But Yah is faithful. You're that Yah faithful. So if you girded up your loins in truth, you'll be able to withstand in that evil day. Come on. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Mm, you hear that? So you're tempted because you're allowing yourself to be tempted. Come on. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape, mm. that ye may be able to bear it. Come on. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Yeah. I speak as to wise men, judge ye what I say. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Hamashiach? Ooh. The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Hamashiach? You hear that? So like the same body, the same cup we drink from, the same body we use to drink from these cups, we defile ourselves with this sexual manipulation with women. One minute we, we say we love the Lord, but next minute we manipulate women to get in their panties. You see what I'm saying there? It's, it's not making sense and it's not adding up. So, like, we as men, we really got to check ourselves. And, and, and we, and look, I'm doing a video about the women tomorrow, so it's all good. It's going to be evened out. But I really wanted to touch on the man base first, uh, the man base first, because we really messing up a lot of these women. We messing them up. We messing them up mentally, physically, emotionally, all of that. We messing them up. You know what I'm saying? And then we supposed to, at least you supposed to prepare your daughter for a king. We're not even doing that. We preparing women for the slaughter. We messing up their minds and leaving them alone, having sex with them, jacking them up. Then the next man get them in. They be like, man, this woman is crazy as hell. She's crazier mm. than a roll lizard. I wonder why. Because of you, Negro. Huh, we can drop that. We're going to hit a couple more. We're going to go and get up out of here. Let's go to uh, let's go, let's go to the cure. We're going to do the cure part. and going to step up out of here. I think we said enough. What you think, Hebrew? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's hit Proverbs 3. We're going to talk about the cure. What keep you away from doing this? What keep you away from this lust? Let's go to Proverbs 3, 5 to 8. Proverbs 3, 5 to 8. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I got something for the women, too. But, like, you know, the, the balance has to be just. But, like, let's really stop sexually manipulating these women, y'all. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's flat out wrong. And you can't get off on no technicality <laughs> when the most high judge in the intentions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't no technicality in that day. So look, we got four more scriptures, y'all. We're going to read them real quick. We're going to get up out of here. Make sure it's counting. All right. It's not like my big print Bible. I'll be kind of... Oh, yeah, you be acting like I don't sift through with yeah, a little taste. Yes, uh, All right, let's get it. Good. He broke. We are in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3. Verse 5. Yeah. Trust in the most high with all thine heart. You hear that? Trust in the most high in all your heart. This is a ways to get rid of this sexual manipulation. Trust in the most high with all your heart. Don't put your trust in man. Right. And don't be trusting in yourself, your damn self. Because you surely a damn doing what you what we talking about. If you're doing this, you damned anyway. Mm -hmm. Come on. Trust in the most high with all thine heart. And lean not. Unto thine own understanding. Don't lean to your own understanding. Come on. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Ooh, in some of thy ways. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Come on. And he shall direct thy path. Yes. Yeah. 
Be not wise in thine own eyes. Don't be wise in your own eyes because your eyes tell you that a fat butt and vagina and, and perky breasts and a pretty face is heaven. No, that's just heaven for uh, what, five minutes? Mm. Then what? You still got eternity to go. <laughs> you done played yourself. Right. Come on. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the most high. Yeah. And depart from evil. And do what? And depart from evil. And depart from evil. Come mm. on. It shall be health to thy neighbor. So this is how you live long. Come on. And marrow to thy bones. And marrow to thy bones. So that's one of them. Come on. Proverbs. This is good. Proverbs 23. These are the things that keep you away from that. Proverbs 23. Let's do 26 to 28. Let's run through these real quick. We're going to get up out of here. It's kind of late. Just a quick chop session. We're going to start bringing more of these. It's time to start talking about the stuff that y'all scared to talk about. I'm going <laughs> to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. In the book of Proverbs. 23 starting 26, brother. Chapter 23, verse 26. My son, give me thine heart. It says give who? Give me thine heart. You that serve the Lord. Don't serve vagina. Come on. And let thine eyes observe my ways. You know that your eyes supposed to be observing his ways. Not you looking at a woman switch her hips in the way her butt looks when she walk. Come on. Verse 27. For a whore is a deep ditch. You might be looking at a whore. And she's a deep ditch. You want, oh, you want to tap that too, huh? Mm. Let's see what she leads you to. Come on. And a strange woman is a narrow pit. Ooh, come on. She also lieth in wait as for a prey. You hear that? If she waiting, you the prey. You thinking you the predator, but the whole time you the prey. Her eyelids done. She wearing that skinny, voluptuous, whatever she wearing. It's sundress season. Huh? Everything looking all good. You thinking that she's on the hit list, but no, Negro, you on the hit list. Come on. She also lieth in wait as for a prey Ooh. and increaseth. The transgressors among men. You hear that? She increases what? The transgressors among men. She increases the sins among men. Come on. Mm. Who hath woe? Mm. Who hath sorrow? Who hath contentions? Who hath babbling? Who hath wounds without cause? Who hath redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine. They that go to seek mixed wine. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red. You hear that? Wine and women. Notice wine and women is always together. We got to watch that. Refrain from so much wine with women. Drink wine amongst your brothers or amongst your wife. Quit drinking wine loosely with women. Then y'all get all intoxicated and you wake up and you done done something you ain't supposed to be done. Now it's too late. Because you wanted to feed your lust when you was intoxicated. Come on. When it giveth his color in the cup. When it moveth itself aright. We can stop that right there. Let's go to Romans 13. Romans 13, 12 to 14. Romans 13, 12 to 14. Romans 13, 12 to 14. Remember, this is called sexual manipulation. Lust corrupts the minds of men. I just said the title like six different ways. Uh -huh. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even write it down. Romans 13, uh, Let's see. 12 to 14. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 13. No, chapter 13, right? Yeah, bro. 13, uh, 12 through 14. <laughs> Ain't that where we are? Yeah. I sure thought you went back to 12. Nah. The book of Romans, chapter 13. My bad, y'all. It's late night. We, Verse, po we supposed to be asleep right now. I sure was going to say it must be getting late. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the book of Romans, chapter 12, uh, chapter 13, verse 12. Yeah, brother. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Yes. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Yeah, that, put that darkness off. Them dark intentions, put that off. Quit being led by that. Come on. And let us... Put on the armor of light. Then we just read how you supposed to put on the whole arm of God, and one of the armors was to gird your loins up with what, Hebrew? 
truth. Mm -hmm. Truth. Come on. Let us walk honestly as in the day. You hear that? Let us walk honestly. Remember, we look up the word good. That word good was what? Honestly, being honorable. Mm -hmm. And it says, if a man know to be honest, which means to be good and do it not to him at his sin. Come on. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, Whew. not in chambering and wantonness, mm -hmm. not in strife and envy. Come on, verse 14. But put ye on the most high Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah, that put on a Mashiach, Yahweh which is that truth. Gird your loins up in truth. Thy word is thy truth. The truth manifested himself into flesh and became to be the son of the only begotten. Only begotten son. Come on. And make not provision for the flesh. Make not what? Provision for the flesh. Says, look, don't give your flesh the liberty to just gad abroad. Mm -hmm. Put a check on it. Huh? Rule your flesh, Hebrew. Rule it. Quit letting it rule you. Come on. To fulfill the lust thereof. To fulfill the lust thereof. Oof. Two more scriptures. Ephesians. These are little quick one hitters. Ephesians 4, 22 to 24, then John 8, and we up out of here. Sit that Ephesians real quick. Say Ephesians 4. Yeah. 22 to 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ephesians 4, 22 to 24. Then we're going to hit that John, John 8. 8. And we up out of here, man. Okay. I was going to say you got to close in Psalms like we had Shabbat class. Hey, we know how it is. <laughs> you got to close in Psalms? Let me see. Ephesians 4, 22 to 24. Okay. Let's get her done. Remember, sexual manipulation. Lust corrupts the mind. We really have to, we got to overcome this, y'all. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 22. You there? Yep. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. You hear that? Put that off. Get away from that. You're no longer running up into these women, manipulating them. You want something righteous now. You're looking for a wife, a queen, a help me to suit your needs. Come on. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Ooh, uh, which is corrupt according to what? The deceitful lust. The lust of the flesh. Your mm. lower members that you're yielding yourself to. Come on. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You hear that? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind, your consciousness. This is where Melchizedek lies at. We're under Melchizedek now. He's going to try the reins of your heart. That's right. Come on. And that ye put on the new man. Put on the who? Put on the new man. So you shouldn't be doing that no more. After this lesson, you should really go reflect. Sit yourself in the hot seat and change your way of thinking and mindset. Because no, the light will, no, the darkness will be brought into the light. And God will judge the reins of your heart. He will mm -hmm. try the reins of your intentions, of your consciousness. Do you really want that? Mm. Come on. Which after Yah is created in righteousness and true holiness. Come on. Wherefore, putting away lying, Whew. speaking every man truth with his neighbor, uh -huh. for we are members one oh, of another. On. Last one. Let's go to John 8. And let's get on up out of here. John 8. Where you want to start that 8? Let me see, because I honestly don't know exactly which verse it is. I know it's John 8, though. Oh, he said, the truth shall set you free. Uh, John 8 and... The Moses Law, the... the beginning stop. I know I ain't tripping. I don't know my scripture. Several cities, and he brought them to one in adultery. Moses saying, her changes up and convicted by the elder. Yeah. I started up, uh, started 12. And then, yeah, started 12. I need that in 12. And then uh, when we get to the truth part, we got to flip the page. Okay. We're in the book of John, chapter 8. Verse 12, 
Then spake Yeshua again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whew, come on. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. You hear that? So if you follow him, you don't walk in darkness. So doing what you was talking about, what we was talking about you was doing at first, that's nothing but darkness because you're darkened in the minds of the daughters of Zion. But if you got Christ on you and your loins are girded up in truth, which is the word, the word is the light of the world, then you're not in darkness no more. Come on. But shall have the light of life. Mm, come on. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Mm. Yeshua answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. Yeah. For I know whence I came come and on. whither I go. Come on. But ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh. Who? You judge after what? Ye judge after the flesh. The same thing we trying to put off anyway. The same thing that got us having, doing sexu sexually manipulating these women. Come on. I judge no man. Mm. And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true. Come on. For I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. Whew. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. Straight up. I am one that bear witness of myself, uh -huh. and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Whew. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Yeshua answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. Mm. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. Straight up. Let's jump down to verse 31. Verse 31. Then said Yeshua to those Jews which believed on him, mm -hmm. If ye continue in my word. So if you continue in the word, not continue in yourself, not continue in your lust, not continue in your own vain glory of man, but if you continue in the word of God, come on. Then are ye my disciples indeed. Right. And ye shall know the truth. Now look, after this, you should be a disciple. And once you become a, a disciple, you should know the truth personally. That's Christ. And what? And the truth shall make you free. And this truth shall set you free from fornication, from lust, from ill attentions and ill gain. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need. We need to be set free. We need these chains to be to be broken up off of us. We're chained and we're enslaved to our penis and in our vagina. And, and this is not right. We need to be free and set and set free from this wickedness that we're doing with our lower members. So the class is called sexual manipulation. The lust corrupt minds of a man. Man, quit using this truth to manipulate women to get in their panties. Women, sit back. Let your king come find you. You just worry about following Christ and being a virtuous woman. Man, stop sexually manipulating these women and quit lying to them. You know what I'm saying? If you is going to be like that, at least keep it 100 from them. You know what I'm saying? Keep it a buck with them. And say what you really want. Even though you ain't even supposed to be doing that. We're not even supposed to be looking at the flesh like that. Of course, the daughters of Zion are beautiful. Most beautiful women that ever walked the planet Earth. But we need to start holding ourselves to standards. And the women need to start holding theirs holding they self to standards as well that's right so uh with that being said uh this is the lesson sexual manipulation if you got any questions at all hit the comment board and don't worry i'm gonna get on the women tomorrow so you know what i'm saying i know all the brothers gonna be in my facebook inbox y'all key y'all key what's up with that man it ain't nothing like that i'm just keeping it real all across the board so uh, you already know what it is, Sect of the Nazarene or the Mikhail's of that they scared of that. All praise to Yahweh Bashem, I'm Shiak Yahweh Shah, Barakatha, Hallelujah, Yah. Shalom. All praises, Yahoo. Yahoo. Long let it came. Hey, see y'all in Memphis, baby. Here we come.